Hi everybody. Guess what I've got back? I got back a clicky bar. So Mark, are you watching? I got your clicky bar back. Well, it's a new one because it's a new camera, but you know what I mean. Now today, Sunday, um, I heard the bells go off this morning from a little local church. It's a very, very tiny church. Um, there isn't room for me to go into it, so it shows you how tiny it is. And it got me thinking, because do you remember uh, a few months ago, we used to have Sunday school with the bells, where well, we heard the bells. And it made me feel quite, I haven't felt morose, that's the wrong term, but I have felt, well, a bit thoughtful. I think that's the word, is thoughtful. Um, now, I believe that Kerry did a video, um, and it is something along the lines if tomorrow never comes um, we your loved ones know that they were loved <clears throat> now I remember years ago that record being recorded by Barry Manilow and I once got <clears throat> laughed at because I said that God could speak through Barry Manilow and you see, I believe that God can speak through anything and anybody. Excuse me. <coughs> because I really do believe that. I believe that if God was the creator of all things, well then surely he's allowed to have a say in all things. And so I was thinking about this, what if tomorrow never comes? And I thought about my loved ones which have gone either through death or just through a natural friendship coming to an end. Um, I find those the saddest ones, believe it or not, because when when you lose a loved one, um, I lost my mum dot dot years ago and I can honestly say that I never regretted her going because I loved her to bits and she knew it even though her death was unexpected and yes I know with Andrew it has been a hard time getting through it but even he knew because our last words were of love for one another. I think when you a friendship comes to a natural end, that is the hardest because you're forever trying to improve on that friendship and sort of wondering if I say to them I love them even more, would it bring them back? When sometimes Friendships do come to a natural end, which is very sad. Um, I've had a friendship which came to a natural end. And then I found years later, the Lord brought her back, which was really, really special. So maybe friendships never come to an end. I don't know. I don't know anything, let's be honest. Um, but I really do feel that if we love everybody, that word, that four letter word, um, if we are as nice to them as we would like them to be as nice to us, well, then we will never regret anything, will we? Um, and that was just my morose 
I don't know, kind of funny feeling I've had all day. Um, now, I won't, I haven't been able to get into the other room. I have not slipped back before anyone watches me thinks, oh, she's slipping back. It's just, I, I went to my daughter's, then I found I couldn't walk properly the day after, which was natural. And then I went out yesterday and I haven't been able to be mobile today. And so I haven't been able to thank you all for your love and for your responses to my video that I did. Um, some of you have been fantastic. I loved the one of you who did a video for me and I had to have mine up at the same time as yours. I found that very clever um, and I will be doing your video I think for that one back because it's worth a video. I'm not, you will realise won't you that I'm not very clever and as regards to doing the the clever things I'm not I just open my mouth and let it come so I haven't been able to get back in the other room to thank you all but you know don't you you know how much I care and if my pins would get me into the other room I would be there I'll be there tomorrow although tomorrow we're going taking photos because Kez has got this um, lens that you put on the end of the camera. So I'm going to take some silly little photographs, which are just what I can take from the car. But she's going to take some super duper ones. So that's that. I would like to say if any of you do want prayer, please get in touch. I will pray for you. I haven't got the book in front of me, but most of you know that I have a prayer book that I write all the prayers in. Um, and they know that on a Sunday, you know, well, I pray it all the time, but they know that on a Sunday it's a special day and I, I try and, you know, uh, lift the book before God and all of you who have just recently joined me I put your names down in the book whether you're Christian or a blue-eyed spotted monster you still go down in the book and uh, I pray for you or think about you or whatever you want to think about you I think about it too and then I normally have a prayer time. I normally have a scripture reading, but I haven't at the moment. They're both there, they are within reach, but somehow I just haven't got that way minded today. Shall we lift you all before? This is the bit where people go and make a brew, have a cup of coffee, or listen. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift before you all these wonderful, wonderful people who are subscribed to me. And Lord, all the wonderful, wonderful people who are not subscribed, but yet they watch me uh, every single week. Oh Lord, I lift before you the ones who have such dreadful, dreadful problems. And yet they're not telling anybody about it. They're keeping it quiet. Because Lord, that's all that counts is between you and them. And then they can say that God has healed because God does heal. He can come into your, pro into your problem, into your body Oh, oh, there are people.
people who suffer so much and I am so sorry so so sorry but I thank you Lord that you died on the cross and you took our sicknesses and diseases and no I don't understand why some of us have them and some do not but I know it's one of those questions I'll ask you Lord when we get to glory so Lord I lift before you everybody for this week I think before you people who I haven't thought about or should I say I haven't been in touch with like the people with Mark with the clicky bar oh Lord I pray that you prompt me to get in touch with them this week to find out how they are and what they're doing and Lord I pray that you prompt people who haven't been in touch for a while to get in touch so thank you Lord thank you that you and your blessings are upon us and our friends in Jesus' name Amen. Amen. The trouble is with me, once I start praying, I want to continue. So you must be very specific on what you want, otherwise you'll be watching me this time next week. Now let's see what I do with this clicky bar. Uh, I think I do that. Right. So, with this clicky bar, or Mark's clicky bar, come on, Mark, come on back. Take care, everyone. Good night. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye.